Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chris with the C. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. On the table, we have my absolutely epic Armor Creighton uh, version 2 EXB. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to Lee from Custom RC Upgrades for allowing this video to happen today, guys. He's actually sent over a few little parts. The final icing on the cake, I believe, really, for this EXB, and this is the last part I'm going to be adding to it. Um, I've made a couple of changes on the truck as well, which I'm going to show you in a moment. But um, yeah, we're going to be adding some center braces. Now, even though the EXB does have, obviously, al aluminum or aluminium, whichever way you want to pronounce it, uh, center braces, Lee's actually sent me over these 7075 braces, guys. I, I think they're going to add that little bit more uh, strength to the vehicle, and on top of which, the design of them and the way they look, look like absolutely lovely. Um, this is my show pony. This is something that I built uh, bit by bit um, through many different parts we've added to the vehicle, and it was nice to have seal the deal, really, with... Really, what Lee was the first person to support the channel with any custom parts. Uh, so I want to say a massive thank you to Lee Wood from Custom RC Upgrades. We'll put a link in the description as well, guys, to obviously uh, the website and these parts in particular. And, and basically, list, I'll put a link in there for anything to do with the Creighton EXP. Uh, guys, we're going to dive down in a moment. I'll show you the changes I've done to the vehicle first, and then we'll start looking at the custom parts. And I want to say a massive thank you to each and everyone who are obviously watching the videos at the moment. All the likes, shares, and subscribers really does mean a lot to me. Come on in, let's dive down. Right, guys, so on the table, as you can see, I've got my Creighton 6S version 2 EXB. Many changes have happened to this vehicle since the last time I showed it on the channel. Uh, and a couple of important ones I want to go over. Um, as you can see, guys, we are now running a full Hobbywing Max 8 G2 system. Uh, it's the 2250 kV motor at the 4278. So that's going to provide a lot more torque and also a little bit more kV. And hobby wing, guys. You know, it goes without saying. There was nothing actually wrong with the Spectrum, but I do like the way hobby, uh, the hobby wing systems work. I've done a lot of work on wiring and making sure everything's right. Uh, I did have to change the servo over because I did have one of my DS3235 Pro servos go out on me today. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, we have upgraded the um, hinge pins and also the diff cases and everything else has gone on. Um, I've added some custom little bits that I've done myself. As you can see, I've made a fan guard. Um, these actually are uh, fan guards from a serv uh, uh, PC server fan case. And um, what I've done then is added this mesh that a friend of mine, Martin, all I've done is trimmed it and cut it. As you noticed, I've relocated the on-off switch by there. This is borrowing the, the holder from a Team Corrali. And I've mounted it onto the actual um, roof protector, the bars, the roll bars, um, basically onto the car itself and just kept the wiring up over. I had a little bit of guidance from a friend of mine, uh, Omi, uh, or Phil as I know him. Um, basically, we've relocated the ESC. Um, I actually had it facing the other way around. Now, the problem was, is this blue wire here, uh, wire A, was actually touching the the, uh, the screw. That, well, I say screw. It's basically a, a hit, like a hinge pin that goes through. And it was catching the wire. So what I've done is actually flipped it around, made some holes in the bottom, uh, and then relocated the ESC, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the other thing, I am now running on a 15 tooth pinion, but because I'm running a 40 millimeter fan, uh, running at 8.4 back, uh, the temperature should be pretty good. As you can see, I do have the Method RC uh, wheels on. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Right, okay, so let's just have a quick look at the custom RC upgrade parts. Now, as I mentioned, Lee has been a big supporter of, of my channel and I've been a fond uh, end user, basically. A little bit of dirt on there from the wheels. Sorry, guys. Um, I have been a f uh, fond user of his parts for a while now and always with great success because the machine quality. Now, guys, for, if many of you don't actually know, Custom RC Upgrades, Lee's main business is actually uh, making machine parts for many things, from things like Formula One cars to... Um, parts for uh, the Ministry of Defence and stuff like that. And obviously, Custom RC Upgrades is, is, 
his hobby is obviously the RC, so he's turned that into using his business and obviously his hobby and started making parts. So he, he, what Lee does, like uh, um, we I've spoken about it on previous videos when I've, I've talked about the Armors, uh, e.g. the 3S and 4S cars, Lee takes the parts out. Um, if the car breaks, uh, he'll go and make a part for it. Now, Lee clearly believes that these parts needed upgrading um as you can see the exp versions are on there um apparently by all accounts they haven't been known to bend but these are actually made out of 7075 t6 aluminium and they're milled uh, uh, uh sorry machined out of um a, a piece of aluminium and milled basically rather than um sort of something that's been formed e.g kind of like poured into a pot uh, and you know just made out of a, a cast but as you can see these are all machined really really gorgeous looking what we're going to do now guys is i'm going to start taking the car apart um it's quite simple to do this as you can see there's a screw there this on the chassis itself then at the bottom two screws underneath same at the front end and i'm gonna replace the parts and then we'll show them in a second okay so i'll put you on a time lapse in a sec and uh yeah you can watch me change them all over and then we'll talk about them Guys, okay, so as you can see, I've got the screw out now. Um, I've actually got the center brace out of the vehicle. All right, um, now the only thing you will have to do here is can you see the two screw holes there? You will actually have to, oops, that has a bit of hair. Uh, you will actually have to remove the two screws and remove the body post to get it out. Um, as you can see, let's do a quick comparison. This brace is solid right the way through, whereas this one is not. Um, I haven't actually bent one of these myself yet, but um, again, as you can see, that is quite solid right the way through. So I'm just gonna start getting that into the vehicle now, and then I'll come back when it's fitted. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the Custom RC Upgrades brace in, and what I do like about it is, as you can see, you've got that screw down there that actually holds it all the way through. Um, it doesn't actually foul at all with the diff cup, so there's no issues there. But um, yeah, it does tighten right down. You have got a nylock nut on there. But uh, yeah, very sturdy, and the fit actually was quite tight to get in. You might have seen on the camera just now of, of me struggling a little bit to get in. Um, it's interesting mine because it doesn't actually utilise both the holes, um, but I've got no issues with that because the way is held in. So, yeah, no issues there. Um, but, yeah, it does give it so, a lot more strength here. You can feel the back end of the car so actually tighten up a little bit more. Um, whereas, obviously, the armour one, there's a bit more back to back and forward movement, I found, with this one. Um, this one is actually pushing sort of the towers against the chassis. So, yeah, I do like that, actually um machine quality as i mentioned is absolutely amazing yeah spot on right we're going to crack on with the front now it shouldn't take too long Right guys, so what do you think? What an epic way to finish up the build. Um, tower to tower braces in. Uh, I do like the way that obviously they're attached to the chassis with these big long bolts with some nylock nuts. The front's looking awesome. The car's looking absolutely epic. Um, let's go up top. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, right, what do you think? Absolutely epic, eh? 
Um, Creighton is finally sewn up and, and put together. I really don't think there's anything else this car actually needs. Now, I want to say a massive thank you to Lee Wood from Custom RC Upgrades. Guys, link will be in the description, obviously, to Lee's website. And there, I'll also link all the Creighton parts that he actually lists on, on his uh, website as well. Guys, he's been in the game for a little while and he does know his stuff. Um, Lee was probably the first, one of the first people I was talking to about upgrades with the DR8. And he's, uh, you know, there's many, many cars in there that he can offer upgrades for. And uh, they are tried and tested. He takes the cars out and literally bashes the snot out of them. And if they break, he upgrades them. And uh, you know, I, I commend that. I love that theory, especially with businesses. It's not just parts made up without testing you know lee will take them out and actually try try them on the vehicles and if they don't work you'll you reevaluate it and then try it again um massive thank you teaching every one of you obviously watching the channel at the moment all the like shares and subscribes uh, go on the channel really do appreciate that guys it's time to actually get the crate out on the road now and actually enjoy a little bit of it um, I'm pretty much done on the upgrades on this. I don't think there's anything else I, I want to actually put on you. Um, I think it's gone way beyond what I expected it to anyway. Just like all my other cars. Um, guys, massive thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. From me and the Creighton and Custom RC upgrades, I'll catch you later. Stay awesome, guys.